think what we should do for the next fix or oh hey, here's Max. Good morning. It's a big day. Big day. Big day. Send out the email, we know I like, defined success. You get that email, yeah, Bobby? Yeah. You think we're gonna hit these numbers? Great results. Almost 5,000 backers in one day. Although, it would be about 3,500 table backers. Mm -hmm. I would consider, that's, that's what we did uh, MGT 2.0. If we did the same result again, I think that would be actually AAA plus. Nine o'clock. That would show incredible durable demand. We are a lot bigger than we were last year. We've had our pre-launch page up for longer than we ever have, and we have more people following the campaign. How many people are following the campaign? Uh, 7,300. And we're looking for 3,500 to turn into table backers. Yeah. We get 20, uh, 2,600 table backers. I will say that is a, that's solid. That'll be actually quite good fill us up for the year, give us plenty of runway, and I would still be in go-go mode. I'd be in go-go mode. Sad times, I'll tell you the sad time, if you want the, uh, the violin. We don't need to talk about that. We could. 1,700 table backers, I would consider, eh. It simply means that we're either gonna have to really start cranking sales on the website, or we'll have to do another dog beds. Dog beds. Jeez, customer service is having a great fucking time. It <laughs> must be nice to have no y'all. We're reading, we're reading, we're reading. George Baker. Jesus, you guys. How's Dave doing? Uh, he took It's amazing what some sunlight will do for you guys, huh? I know. Look at this. We're basking. We're like reptiles. Umbrero is off. Hey. Long time no see. I know, I've been at the Pawtucket studio. Shoot. Basically making the whole Kickstarter page. Honestly, no, I think no? we we were used a good amount of stuff. Definitely shot some new stuff, but I think the majority of the work was probably that new configurator. Right, you're taking all have. the photos for the configurator. Also, I mean, Dom has been putting in a lot of work getting that looking good. I just checked it out, it's really nice. It works great. It works great, looks good, feeling, feeling good. Cool. I hear there's pizza. I knew that no one would. Hey-o. Hey-o. Hey -o. Hey -o. Hey -o. Oh. Uh-oh. You've caught us doing something bad. What? Pizza time? <laughs> Nothing. What's that? Hey, what's up, man? Did you uh, look at Geek & Sons Kickstarter? I, I didn't. I heard that they launched a Kickstarter, though. No, I wish them, I, you know, I wish we could do European fulfillment. They do have, I will show you what they have that I like, which is the... Oh, this. you like the long hex? Well, so we've made one of those. And that is something we will at some point probably develop for the system. Because mm -hmm. uh, I do like the form factor in extended hex. Um, so we have the technology. We'll probably at some point offer that. You call him. Also, it's, like... His number's there. It's bad. It's like, you don't want to be like, geek furniture. That's just... It's just not good marketing. Like, it's fine. It's almost like Wormwood and spelling it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I only get pizza if we get like a million dollars. Yeah. Did you get pizza? Yeah, yeah. yeah I got Jackie, it. are you, is Jackie ready? Oh, As... I'm ready. Ready to party. <laughs> a little like, Yeah. 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 You get a lot ready? of good editing advice while you film. That must be nice. <laughs> yes, I love it. Wait, this isn't Troy's first Kickstarter, is it? Uh, Troy, is this your first Kickstarter? I didn't even know what Kickstarter was till I came here. Wow. So, and we haven't launched a Kickstarter. Since this is the first time that you've ever been here when we launched a Kickstarter. Yeah. Oh, I feel like Troy's got to launch it. He's going to launch it. Troy's got to launch it. All right, you're going you're gonna to push the button. Am I really? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's time. Here we go. Go there for it. Go. Drum roll. Boom. Oh, yes. Project's yeah. live. Is it launched? Launch. It's launched. We are launched. We are launched. Uh, what's up? We're going to have a meeting with Doug. Is he coming in here? No, we're gonna go in his fancy office. Oh, we're gonna go to the shitty room. The beautiful room. Like, yeah, I don't Hey! Of course. Huh? <laughs> is JV here? JV is in the studio, doing what we need to do. You want me to call him in? Oh! He's aware, I mean, I talked to him on the phone on the way here. Oh, <clears throat> aware? What's going on? Got a pivot plans. Oh. Duck and weave. Jabbing. 
counterattack. Kickstarter did not do as well as we had anticipated. Mm -hmm. We were hoping for like 4,000 backers on day one. I think we have like 1,500 backers. I haven't checked today. 1,600 something? Yeah, it's over 1,600, but yeah. So, I believe what is occurring, God is telling us something. He's telling us to get off the Kickstarter track. He is, he is coming down. You're, what? You're an alcoholic. I don't want in here. You hit rock bottom, right? Like, I think the reason this Kickstarter didn't do as well is we've had it on sale on the website, and so that's been cannibalizing the hype. If there's one way to get a modular game table, and it's on Kickstarter, that Kickstarter is hype. It's big, because you've built up all that demand, right? We've been trying to get off the Kickstarter crap. Mm -hmm. Crap pipe. Yep. It's, it's a pipe, right? <laughs> Look, I don't know. <laughs> We're not getting that that explosive like, pfft, right? It's 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 more of a slow burn. So we've got we got a couple things going on. So website sales. The big goal is we want to be hitting 500 to 600k per week in web sales. If we're making five to 600k a week with web sales, that is basically we don't need Kickstarter. We currently do about. 30K a week in legacy sales, although during Christmas that obviously is like a lot more. Legacy, those are the accessories. And then between for our entire MGT line, and I'm gonna call that the chairs, the rail accessories, the tables, I've been doing around 170K per week in sales. Between those two business lines, that's 200K. Now, I have a little secret for you. We used to sell something called the Prophecy. We used to get between five and 15 deposits a week. I mean, you can speak to that, Chris. An average of seven per week for right. about three years, I think. Right. We revamped our prophecy sales process, and I think we fucked it up. Let's, let's call that 150K. That's what it used to be. A couple things. A, we have to push prophecy sales again. That's my A number one. If we can resuscitate the prophecy line, that brings us a lot closer to this. Remember, we don't have to exactly hit five to 600K. It's just the closer you get to 500 to 600K, the less you need Kickstarter. If we're at 400K and we have like a Dice of Palooza and it's solid, then we're actually fine. We've been averaging around 200K a week on the website. If we could get Prophecy back where it was, that puts it to 350. If we actually did a better job with Prophecy, maybe it's up to four. And then we have the last one, which is Modular Desk. Modular Desk, we have been trickling in sales, but again, we don't have a good process and it's very backlogged. So there's, there's two things that are, there are actually three things that are gonna be occurring. I'm going to be pinching and cutting down cash consumption throughout the entire company. We're gonna tighten the belt. Number two, you guys, are gonna push MGT 3.0. It is now on this Kickstarter. I actually think we'll have the ability to push. You guys have tools we didn't have before. You have an audience we didn't have before. So you guys are going to push into MGT 3.0 as hard as you can. So you guys, that's your A number one. Number two, we throw a Dice Palooza in here. So I need to talk to Bobby. We're gonna, we're gonna follow up. We're gonna get Papa Coos. <laughs> pushing is number three, I'm gonna be pushing Prophecy. I'm gonna spearhead this. We're gonna make signature series, we're gonna make showstoppers. For you, Matt, I want Worm Life to be about building the world's best gaming table for the next month or two. That's the storyline. The storyline is literally documenting the design, the craft. It's gonna be me, Ian, and Jason doing the design work. We're gonna have Jare as support, it's gonna involve Bennett, it's gonna involve Crazy Ed. We're gonna push MGT 3.0. If you guys do a good enough job, we actually don't have any problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm going to assume we do have a problem until we don't have a problem. Yes. Okay. I also think um, Prophecy customers, we have storage available for the first time. Every single Prophecy customer is gonna want a wall rack. I definitely wanna do something for those people specifically. And it could be a personal reach out where it's just like, hey, just wanted to let you know, we'll put you in the first queue sure. as a Prophecy right. customer right. or something like that. I, I think that the conversion rate on that could be relatively good if, if we try that. Yep. We're gonna start reposting things. I talked to JB on the way here. So on days that we don't 
have new content, which we're gonna push harder than usual, because that's what JB's working on now. I wanna repost old things. And then also, we still have this ad that's pushing people to the Kickstarter. Do we wanna run an ad that links to the, the builder? Oh, uh, I mean the builder, they could build it and then it just, send, and then they would click and, and then go to the Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Yeah, so like it's worth a... For the first time, we have a web page for MGT that we're actually like, yeah, this is good and it's stable and it's right. easy. Right. So I think we should push that a little bit as well. So should that be a separate ad or right now we're running two? Uh, what are the editing capabilities? I can you? Edit time. So I can just change whatever. Maybe take the take the one that's performing worse. Try to push people to the builder and see what happens. Okay. No, I feel good. I feel good. Just because, yeah. We're just getting a nudge. That's what this is, right? When you get negative feedback, that is a nudge that's pushing you in the correct direction. The situation we're in today is we actually have many, many months of cash, and then we have this Kickstarter that's going to bring in some cash, not as much as we had wanted, but it's gonna bring in some cash, and then we have Dice of Palooza following up on that, and then we have- The answer to all of our problems. Well, I mean, no, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, just from a cash perspective, and- I'm serious. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, today I'm in planning mode. I've got my players, boom. I've got my objectives, boom. I'm working on it. We're gonna make some progress. Everybody, everybody good? Sounds good. All right. Bring it in. Hey! Dice of Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Dice of Palooza. <laughs> Um, so I sent a couple people, I think now, I think the new person wants to go and get in.